Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Fish and Cheese. Today what we have for you is a tip on how to change the background color of your widget on blogs. So our platform is going to be blogspot.com or blogger.com and my website is fishandcheeseent.blogspot.com. Now the website is named League of Gamers and it's basically a platform for gamers of different genres to be able to share their experiences by submitting an article. You can either write an article or a game review, submit that for other gamers to kind of get an understanding better of what the games are about um, as an unbiased opinion, as well as submitting your YouTube videos that you've created or videos you've created to try and get more um, exposure from the community. It's all free. We don't cost, you know, charge you for advertising. We're just trying to help build a community so that way gamers who are passionate about gaming can get more experience in exposure um, and hopefully, you know, build a community as a whole. And that's all it's about. So one of the problems when you're creating your blog is you don't know all the tips and tricks like professional coders do. Right. And then when you search something online, the jargon, the coding jargon, just it muffles your brain. They speak in different ways that a lot of us don't understand. So if you scroll down on my page, you see that I have a poll up for user engagement. I asked, do you think PUBG on Xbox is fun? As you can see, all of the words are blacked out. You can see all of the buttons, all of the details at the bottom, even the title but the words themselves are blacked out. Now, if you click and highlight the words, you can see that the words are there. They're just, the color of the words themselves is black. Now, if you had a white background, this really wouldn't matter as much because obviously the words will shine against the white background. I have an opaque um, or a transparent um, little center background as well. So that kind of affects it a little bit. But to change that, what you're going to want to do, let me first, we're going to first add a new poll. So let's scroll down. Let's click add poll. We're going to name this Can you change the background of a widget? We're gonna just put some simple answers. Yes, no, maybe. Um, get lost. That's fun. All right, so what you're gonna do, you see that it's added right here. Go back to your website, hit refresh. Now you see both poles are added and both poles are still blacked out. So what you can do now, I'm going to show you this really fast because this is going to you know help you in, in the next step. Right click on Google Chrome web browser, right click on your um, widgets um, title, hit inspect. So this is the coding for that. Right here in this coding, if you look just above it, you're going to see it says division class, widget poll, data version one, ID poll two. So ID poll two, that is your widget ID. Now you're going to need to know that for the next step. So go down to theme. You're gonna to wanna to go to customize, go down to advanced. Now here in add CSS, you're going to add the CSS theming code, all right? So enter this code, hashtag, whatever your, your widget is called. And again, you get that name from right here, poll two under ID. Let me change that to poll two. Then you're going to hit background, semicolon, hashtag, and then your color. If you don't know the color brackets, you can Google that, and it has all of the different color uh, codes. So just copy this, this code to a T. 
hit apply to blog. Once it's applied, you can go back to your um, website, hit refresh. And as you can see, you can now see all the names and all the letters and it's beautiful, right? You can change this color again to any color you want. So if you want it to be white, if you want it to be green, turquoise, whatever you want, it'll take it. So you see my other one is, is don't doing the same. So how I would change that, let me go down. Let me re-enter the same code. This time I'm changing the name of the code to poll one. Once again, right click on the title of the widget, go over to um, inspect, click inspect. And at the very top right here where it says division class, right above um, where your title is at, you're gonna see widget poll, poll one. So once again, poll one, hit apply to blog go back to the website I'm gonna hit refresh and as you can see both are completely changed and you can see them it's perfect and beautiful so once again guys this is how you change the widget color on your um, you know what the widget background color on your blog to help your widgets become more pronounced and help the viewer be able to actually see it and the quick thing is is that Again, you see down here on this widget, you see that the words are right behind the transparent or have a transparent backing. That sometimes makes it hard for people to be able to read or figure out what your articles are saying. So you can actually right click on this, inspect it again, figure out what it's named and um, actually change that uh, background color as well to help it be more, uh, help it stand out a little bit more. But all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, y'all have a blessed day. Thank you very much.